Newfoundland and Labrador is enjoying a strong and growing economy. Our province's energy corporation, Nalcor Energy, is responsible for meeting the growing demand for electricity from residents and businesses. An important part of this mandate is securing sources of clean, renewable and affordable energy. Nalcor is proposing to develop the 824 megawatt hydroelectric development at Muskrat Falls on Labrador's Lower Churchill River and a transmission line from central Labrador to Newfoundland's Avalon Peninsula. The development will meet the province's domestic and industrial needs and lay the foundation for long-term energy exports. To deliver power from Muskrat Falls to the island of Newfoundland, Nalcor has proposed a 1,100 kilometer transmission line designed to carry up to 900 megawatts of power across a high voltage direct current HVDC transmission system. The transmission project will involve laying three cables across the Strait of Belle Isle, the waterway that separates Labrador from the island of Newfoundland. Nalcor has completed extensive site investigations and engineering analysis to assess the conditions of the Strait of Belle Isle transmission route. The area is known for its strong tidal currents and ice conditions. Field work including offshore seismic studies, land-based drilling and marine environmental assessments revealed the location of faults and weak zones in the sedimentary rock layers beneath the sea floor. This work ultimately led to the preferred option for crossing the strait, laying the cables on the ocean floor and covering them with rock. Another important component of the field work was analysis of ice conditions. By working with SeaCore, world experts in ice and geotechnical engineering, Nalcor has assessed where ice would be most likely to scour the seafloor. Using this fieldwork data, Nalcor was able to select the safest route to lay the cables across the strait. The route is protected by a natural shallow shelf and will have the highest chance of avoiding iceberg scour and other external impacts such as tidal and weather conditions. Nalcor also needed to understand the geological conditions on both shorelines, in Forteau on the Labrador side and Shoal Cove on Newfoundland's northern peninsula. Using a technique called Horizontal Directional Drilling, or HDD, and an 800,000 pound drilling rig, crews drilled a horizontal test hole along the proposed cable route. Once construction on the crossing begins, Nalcor plans to have three holes on each side of the strait similar to the one tested through the HGD program. Each hole will be approximately 20 inches in diameter and equipped with a steel liner. The transmission cables will safely reside inside the liner, which will extend for one or two kilometers from each shore. The cables will then transition out of the holes and lay on the sea floor, protected by a dedicated rock berm. The rock berms and cables are designed to accommodate fish dragging activity and weather conditions in the area. Nalcor has drawn upon three decades of studies in the Strait of Belle Isle to determine the optimum route for transmission cables. The team is confident that the design provides the highest level of protection possible for the cables. This advanced engineering work will help ensure the safe and reliable delivery of Muskrat Falls power to homes and businesses.